There has always been evidence that Pokemon may take place after some kind of giant war. But what if that war had taken a larger toll on the world? What if it was a nuclear disaster? What if there was a fallout? This is Pokemon Regions Fallout. Now I haven't made a map for this region since the series takes place all over the former United States. But if we get a region idea nailed down, I'll make one soon. The first Pokemon we will be looking at today will be the Clawmillion, getting his name from Claw and Chameleon. Clawmillion, the monstrous Pokemon. This Pokemon can be one of the most dangerous in the wild. They are seen as hostile and it is often taught to avoid on sight. The reality is that they are just highly territorial and as long as their space is respected, they can be a great addition to an environment. If caught, they can also be great allies too. This Pokemon is a fighting type. It starts with a nice green color and it's shiny takes inspiration from the albino death claws that can be found at higher levels. Next we'll be looking at a regional variant that I feel really fits into the Fallout world. Fallout Toxtricity, the toxic Pokemon. This Pokemon spends its time drinking the highly toxic and radioactive waters of the wasteland. Radiation is stored in a specialized organ that is visible on the chest. The two heads of this Pokemon act well with each other, one acting as a lookout as the other eats or drinks. This Pokemon can be very dangerous if approached after it has finished a meal. Being radioactive if they have eaten anything from the waters of the wasteland. This Pokemon is a poison electric type. It uses the common fallout design of adding a second head onto its creatures. Along with that, its colors are referencing the common neon green colors that are seen in fallout to indicate a radioactive mushroom or waste. I also changed the marking on its body to resemble the commonly known toxic icon found in the real world. For the shiny variant, I changed the color from a green glow to a yellow, the second most common color to show radiation in the Fallout series. I struggled to decide between this color or a neon blue though. Let me know what you think if the blue would look better or not. Fallout has a lot of creatures that to me already feel a lot like Pokemon. That's why this next one is more just using the design language Pokemon to reimagine an existing creature. Mirelurk, the super crab Pokemon. This Pokemon likes to hide under the mud and wait for other Pokemon. They like to stay near swampy lands, both lakes and oceans, and will often cover themselves in debris that they find in the waters to better help blend into their environments. As a companion, they will act very shy at first, but once they open up, they will be very loving companions. This Pokemon is a full water type. I wanted to focus on trying to replicate the feel of a Pokemon with an already iconic and well-known creature. For its colors, I wanted to get some nice ocean colors since fire lurks like to hide in waters. This also influenced the deeper blue of the shiny. I consider this one as being a bit deeper in the water. I already think that Machamp fits pretty well in the Fall universe. With its four arms and blue skin, I immediately equated the normal Machamp with Nightkin. For the Fallout Machamp, I went with them being inspired by Super Mutants. Fallout Machamp, the Super Pokemon. This Pokemon already had amazing strength and size, but after the war, FEV was used to make them even stronger in an attempt to make Super Pokemon to help take over the Wasteland. Thankfully, nowadays, these Pokemon make great partners for exploring the Waste. Seen as scary, as long as these Pokemon have a good trainer, they are usually well-mannered. This is going to be a Fighter-type Pokemon. For the most part, I really wanted to bulk them up a bit. Along with that, I wanted to make sure that the appropriate yellow, just like the West Coast Super Mutants. For the shiny, I of course had to color them to match the East Coast Mutants and give them a nice green color. For the last non-regional Pokemon, I wanted to do a completely original design. This is Fantric, the Laser Ghost Pokemon. This Pokemon is one of the smallest known Pokemon thought to be the ghost of children lost in the Great War. Rather than being put in Pokeballs, they are often captured in glass bottles and worn on the belt. Their favorite being the Nuka-Cola bottles. A team known as the Minutemen came to use these ghosts often, reminding them of a tool they use often when traveling the wastes. This Pokemon will be a ghost electric type, and I really love this little guy. It could fit into a Nuka-Cola bottle. It's inspired by the laser musket visual effects. I also gave the little guy a Minuteman hat. For the shiny, I wanted to get something blue to represent the Institute lasers. 
maybe a little greener, but I think it works better than just a straight blue color. To finish up with this set of Pokemon, we of course have to end it all with my all-time favorite Pokemon, Porygon. Here we have Fallout Porygon, the Brain Bot Pokemon. This Pokemon was once just simple code. Soon a robotics engineer took it upon themselves to create a body for the Cyber Pokemon. Using a human brain as a storage device, now this Pokemon can be found throughout old factories and office buildings buzzing around. This Pokemon can be a great ally when exploring the wasteland, being able to point out important buildings as well as being good in a fight. This Pokemon will be Steel-type and is based off of the different robots found in the Fallout universe, primarily the Brainbot. Its colors for both the base and the shiny are based on the regular Porygon. I was originally going to go with silvers, but it didn't look correct. Hopefully the design still works and looks different enough though. That will have to be all for today. Let me know below what your favorite was in this set and what ones you would like to see next. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to see what Pokemon we make next. Bye bye